to make sure I don't have lipstick on. Jeez, that would be embarrassing. Hello there! So today I have for you guys a video journey on my experience on the military diet, which is a diet that claims that you can lose 10 pounds in 3 days. But before I get started, I want to wish everybody a happy new year. Oh my god, it is 2015. What the f***? Like... It is 2015, that means a new year, new goals, and new successes for everybody. So I wanted to just quickly say Happy New Year before I get started with this video. One of my good friends here on YouTube, Rocio Laura, she made a video about how you can lose 10 pounds in 3 days. And I went on Google and I did some research and long behold, the military diet came up. So I wanted to give it a shot and try it out um, because I am going to Cancun in a couple weeks. So I definitely want to get my body into shape before I go to Cancun because those girls over there in their bikinis don't play. I wanted to give it a shot to see if it worked for me and also I wanted to kind of document and share with you guys this journey in case any of you guys had any like New Year's resolution, weight loss goals or anything like that. This might help you jumpstart that. Also my friend Wendy from The Makeup Queen decided to do it um, and she's also going to be making a video on her experience and her journey. I will link that down below. So. Once you're done with this video, go ahead and check her out so you can kind of get different perspectives. Now, let me just say something. I am not the type of person to go on like crazy diets or like crazy fast diets to to lose weight because that is just not me. Um, I feel like the best way to lose weight is to just start eating better and controlling what you eat and allowing yourself to eat whatever you want just in moderation now this diet is safe you're not starving yourself or purging your body in any sorts of way you're eating very specific foods in a very specific diet plan for three days it is definitely safe otherwise I would not be doing it myself you actually eat and you can't lose weight now before I get started with what this diet is and all the details and all the information I do want to say by no shape, form, or way am I a nutritionist or a physician or a professional at this. I basically did most of my research from this website called themilitarydiet.com. I will link it down below so if you guys have any more questions, um, that website has a lot more information. Again, I am not an expert at this diet. I was just following it and I'm just documenting my results to share with you guys. Now, I think this is going to be a pretty long video, so grab yourself some popcorn. And actually, since this is a health weight loss video, don't grab that popcorn. Go grab yourself an apple or something and join me in this video because it's going to be a long one. Alright, so let's start with what this diet is. So basically, the military diet is a three-day diet plan where you eat specific foods for your meals three times a day and it helps you lose weight because the combination of the foods chemically break down each other to kind of optimize weight loss and fat burn your breakfast lunch and dinner and you know there's specific foods and specific measurements that you need to eat now the claim of this diet is that you can lose up to 10 pounds in three days obviously weight loss depends on the person your metabolism how your diet was before you started this military diet so there's a lot of different factors that plays into your weight loss results all right so now that we know what it is how it works and all of that jazz um, let me go through each day's diet plan with you guys and then after that I'm gonna talk to you guys about my experience how much weight I lost and also how I felt during the diet so are you guys ready for this I hope so all right, so let's start with day one breakfast. So for day one, you can have one slice of toast. It could be whole grain or regular white toast, two tablespoons of peanut butter and half a grapefruit, and you have one cup of black coffee or tea, whatever your preference. Just you can't add any sugar or milk to it. And ugh, it was pretty disgusting, but a girl needs her coffee. For day one for lunch, you can have one slice of toast, half a cup of tuna, and one cup of black coffee or tea. Um, here here I have one cup of tea because I got sick of that nasty bitter black coffee so yeah. Moving right along to dinner for day one you get to have one cup of green beans, three ounces of any meat of your choice here I just grow some chicken and one small apple and the best part you can have 
ice cream. <laughs> yes, ice cream. So you can have one cup of vanilla ice cream with half a banana. Girl, I was sold that ice cream. <laughs> now, moving along to day two breakfast, you have one slice of toast, whole wheat or white, whatever you like, one egg cooked however you like, half a banana, and it doesn't call for a cup of tea, I mean tea or coffee, um, but I really need my coffee because I was at work that day, so I just drank a cup of black coffee. And then for lunch, you get to have a five saltine crackers, exactly five, one hard-boiled egg, and half a cup of cottage cheese. Ugh, it was pretty disgusting, so I don't know how people eat it, but I pretty much had to swallow it. <laughs> So for dinner day two, you are actually supposed to have two hot dogs, but I substituted that with one six ounce piece of tofu because I just didn't want to have two hot dogs. I felt really unhealthy. Um, so I substituted it with something with similar calories and part of the substitution list that you're allowed to. You can also have one cup of broccoli, half a cup of carrots, and the best part, half a cup of vanilla ice cream with half a banana. Oh, yes. Breakfast day three, you have five saltine crackers, one slice of cheddar cheese, and a small apple. And it didn't call for a coffee, but I was at work and I needed my coffee, so I just had one cup of black coffee. Now, it didn't specify how much a slice of cheddar is, so I just cut a half an inch slice that would be equivalent to one portion. Then for lunch, we are having one slice of toast. I decided to be a little naughty and eat white toast. <laughs> and one hard-boiled egg, and then I chucked it down with some good old-fashioned water. And now on to dinner, day three, which was the most miserable one. You have one cup of tuna, and along with that, you have one cup of vanilla ice cream and half a banana. I kind of ran out of vanilla ice cream because I was basically eating it every night. Not that I'm complaining, but I just added a little bit of, you know, whatever other ice cream I had in my freezer at that moment. So what I did is I took screenshots of all of the meals um, on my phone so that I could have it with me all the time and I could be able to reference it whenever I had a question. All right, so... First, let me start off with letting you guys know how I felt throughout the diet. So I pretty much was not, I didn't feel deprived or hungry or starving. Um, yeah, these are these portions are much smaller than what I'm used to eating and the foods are much different than what I'm used to eating. So naturally, my mind was kind of craving the foods that I normally would eat. You know, obviously I felt a little deprived in that sense, but I wasn't hungry. Day one was the best day, like I was happy like that food filled me up and I had no cravings whatsoever day two I felt good and but I kind of started getting a little hungry here and there and you can't snack in between so you have to be very very strict on this diet you have to eat specifically the foods that they're telling you and you have to follow the meal plan exactly as it is to see the best result day two for me was not too bad um, as you can see throughout the meal plan the foods get less and less as you go through the day. So throughout the day, I felt a little hungry for the most part, but once dinner came around, um, even though sometimes the portions were small, ice cream really kind of like put the icing on the cake for me. The ice cream kind of like totally satisfied my craving, made me just good to go for the night. So I think that's one of the strategies of why you eat less throughout the day and then at night you get to have ice cream so that your brain in some kind of way, you know, tells you, hey, you had ice cream and you're happy, so go to sleep and don't think about food. Day three, though, was like the worst day of them all. I was dying. Like, you eat so little and I really started to feel hungry and weak on day three because the food was so much less yeah it was it was a little hard for me day three was really really hard for me but once dinner came around um i did feel much better because i had the ice cream so like again the sugar and the carbs and the ice cream really just kind of like boosted me up again so i do have a blog post on my blog missyani.com and i kind of kept a daily diary of how i felt each day on the diet so if you guys are interested in knowing 
more, um, go ahead and check that down below or go to my blog. On to how much weight did I lose. So when I started my diet, my sister also wanted to join me in the diet. So me and her did the diet together. And, you know, we both got very, very different results. So I lost exactly two pounds. Honestly, I am okay with only losing two pounds. I'm not like super upset about it. Losing two pounds is better than gaining two. Let's just see it that way. But my little sister, she went on it with me and she lost five pounds. I was like, girl, what, what, what the hell? Like, you did exactly the same thing as I did. Um, but again, I think it goes back to the fact that her diet was different before she started. All in all, it really depends on you, your body, and how your body reacts to this diet. I mean, I've seen results. I've seen online people lose 10, 6, 7 pounds. So I didn't lose as much weight as I thought I would lose. But then again, it could also be because before the military diet, I actually had a good diet. So I really don't have a lot of fat in my body. I work out a lot. Um, I work out at least like four times a week. So this diet is really designated to help you burn the fat. It could be a combination of things. Like maybe my metabolism didn't react the same way to those foods as most people would. I'm just different. Yeah, I only lost two pounds, but I feel like I gained something more than just the weight loss because I feel like the diet helped me control my cravings better after I was off the diet. Um, and I didn't feel an urge to snack as much as I would. So this diet is really good to kind of retrain your habits of eating and kind of teaching yourself to portion control. One last thing I want to mention is that you can only do this diet for three days at a time. So you can do the three day military diet three days at a time and then the four days after that you just go back to a regular meal plan. Um, you can also start a, a healthier meal plan after that obviously if you lost some weight so that you don't gain it back. Don't go back to eating pizzas and burgers every day. And so you can do this diet up to three times a month and you can lose probably up to 30 to 40 pounds in a month if you do it in those cycles where you alternate between the three day military diet and then the next four days you go back to a healthy eating meal plan. And the reason for that is you don't want to do the three day military diet like six days in a row or nine days in a row because then your metabolism kind of shuts down and gets used to these foods. So you need to go back to eating um, differently or like go back to eating regular foods for the next four days so that your metabolism has a chance to reset itself so that the diet is more effective. Now the most important thing is that you need to combine obviously any diet plan with exercise and because the military diet plan is a low calorie diet, please make sure that you um, go light on the exercise when you are in that three day meal plan because you know obviously if you don't have enough energy um, and you start working out vigorously, accidents happen. Just be cognizant of your body and how you feel before you push yourself too much. And yeah, all in all, I feel like the diet could work for a lot of people. So you don't really know what your results are going to be unless you try it. Again, this is not a bad diet because you're not starving yourself. You're not depriving yourself of like essential foods and nutrients that your body needs. You're still giving all of that to your body, but it's more in a very strict controlled diet. That is pretty much it for this video. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them down below in the comment section or in my blog. I will try my best to answer as many questions as I can. And I wish you guys luck if you do decide to want to try this diet. You can do it. And remember, weight loss is just a number. The most important part is how you feel about yourself, how you feel in your own skin, and how your health is at the end of the day. So I think it starts with you and how you feel and confidence really built into how much weight you lose or how you perceive your body image so i definitely encourage you guys to you know kind of work on the inside before you work on the outside because you can't really build a structure without its foundation let's just say that i really hope you guys uh, found this video useful and if you guys have any weight loss goals good luck on that comment below if you guys want me to do a kind of like my diet slash workout routine i have been working out a lot i wake up at four in the morning to go to the gym so um, if you guys are interested in knowing my workout routine let me know below and i will be sure to try to film that at the gym with the creepers yeah
Anyways, don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy my videos. And I will see you guys on the other side. Bye. Better than I go to sex clubs Watching freaky people getting it on And it doesn't make me nervous If anything, I'm restless Yeah, I've been around and I've seen it all I get home, I get the munchies Binge on all my Twinkies Throw up in the tub and